Hi, thanks for joining us today. So for today's class, we're going to have quite a tough challenge for our short 30 minute class today. So we're really going to work our glutes quite hard in a high kneeling position, just to begin with. And then we're going to come down onto our backs to challenge that core and our glutes a little bit more onto our backs before we finish with some stretches in sitting as well. So I hope you enjoy the class today. Remember, just go whatever level suits you. And most importantly, we want you to enjoy the class. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, thanks for joining us for our class today. So we're going to do a 30 minute workout today and it's going to be quite a tough challenge to begin with in high kneeling to really work that hip control and our glute strength. And then we're going to come down onto our backs just to challenge that core and strength a little bit further with some movements such as bridging and hip twist. And then we're going to finish with some stretches as always of our bottom muscles and our upper bodies. I hope you enjoy the class today. Remember, just go whatever level suits you. And most importantly, we want you to enjoy the class. Okay, so let's get started. So we're starting in sitting today. So we're going to have that weight nice and evenly down through those sitting bones, sitting up nice and tall. And we're just going to start by stretching through our side. So we're just going to do a mermaid stretch. We're going to drop one hand down by your side, reach up and over that opposite arm, take a breath in here. As you breathe out, we're lifting up and over. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, reach that hand up and over. Breath in, as you breathe out, reaching back up and get back to that start, good. And again, drop that hand down, reach that hand over, breath in. As you breathe out, coming back up and over, good. And again, reaching that arm over, dropping the opposite arm down onto the mat. As you breathe out, coming back up and over, good. And again, each side, drop that hand down, reach over, breath in. As you breathe out, coming back up and over. Lovely, last time, drop down, reach over. Breath in, as you breathe out, come back up and over. Good, and relaxing those shoulders. Okay, so let's just warm up our upper bodies a little bit more with a spine twist. So we're gonna just cross our arms into that Cossack position. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, just turn that body around. Breath in, and as you breathe out, back to the center. And again, on the out breath, rotating to that opposite side. As you breathe out, back to that center. Good, and again, opening out, just rotating through that upper body. Good, and around to that opposite side. Back to the center, one more time each side, reaching around, breath in as you breathe out, back to that center. And again, breath in, as you breathe out, rotating around, breath in, and as you breathe out, back to that center, relax those arms down, and relaxing those shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna come round into high kneeling to begin with. So, this can be a little bit tough, sometimes depending on your floor type, you might want a little cushion under your knees. We're gonna put our hands behind our head, and we're just going to drop over to one side, reach the opposite hand down, and stretch the opposite leg out. So we're going to do a side kick movement. We're going to lift up that leg up to that hip height. Now, if you can, we're going to point the toes to glide the leg forward, flex the foot to glide it back. Point the toes to glide forward, flex the foot to glide back. If that feels a little bit too much, then we can just tap the foot in front, and then I want you to tap it behind. So that's our alternative here if you want to. Otherwise, we're gonna keep gliding that leg forwards and gliding it back, trying to keep it at that hip height level. Now, this leg actually works really hard and you'll really feel those glute muscles kicking in as well on that side that's supporting us. So keeping that hip control movement, that hip, that leg at that hip height, just sliding forward, gliding back. Good, gliding forwards, gliding back. Do the last few here, keeping that control, gliding forwards, Gliding back. Well done. It's a really tough exercise, really challenges those muscles even further. Well done, good. And glide back. And again, gliding forwards, gliding back. Glide forwards and glide back. Good. Let's do one more here. Glide forwards, glide back. Coming back to that center, lower the leg and coming back into kneeling. Very good. Okay, we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So hands behind the head. Just going to reach that opposite arm down, and then we're going to reach this leg over from here. Okay, so keeping those hips stacked there, we're going to lift up that leg just to that hip height, and glide forwards and glide back. Good, so we're keeping that leg in that hip height level, if you can. Remember, our alternative here is tap forwards and then tap back. Just slightly easier than maintaining that leg if you want to. Okay, so just pick what's comfortable for you. Keeping the leg, if you can, though, at that hip height. So we're doing like this side kick movement. So just as we said before, this leg is working hard as well to really stabilize you in this position. So we're really giving our glutes a 
bit of a tough challenge today as we glide forwards and glide back with that top leg. Well done. And again, gliding forwards, gliding back, keeping that core engaged, keeping that control as you glide forwards and glide back. Good. And glide back. Last few. And one more here. Glide back, lower that leg down, and coming back into that kneeling position. Very good. Okay, so we've got one more challenge here to do. So I'm going to go into that opposite side again, so reaching over, stretching that leg out. And we're going to do a few lifts and lower, okay? So we're going to do eight here. We're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, and one. And lower that leg down, back into that center. Okay, last time on the opposite side. Reaching over, hand down, stretch that leg. And we're going to do eight again. So we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift and lower, coming back into that center and back down. Very good, giving those bottom muscles a really good workout. Okay, so it's not over yet, I'm afraid. So we're going to come down onto our backs and just work a little bit harder here. So if we come down onto our mats and onto the back here, we're just going to start as we normally do, finding that neutral position of our pelvis. So those feet and, and knees are about that hip width distance apart. Just to start, we're going to tilt that pelvis back and dropping it forward. So just a gentle movement, tilting forwards and back, looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that pelvis is in a nice neutral position. That core is gently engaged, my tummy is nice and flat, ribs are soft, collarbones wide, that neck nice and long and lifted, and the arms relax down by your side. Good. Okay, so let's warm up our hips a bit more and do our hip twist movement. So we're going to just let one leg fall out to the side, just as far as you've got control, and then use those toe muscles to bring the leg back to the centre. And we do the same on the opposite side. Now it's quite a subtle movement, but we're keeping those hip bones pointing up to the ceiling, not letting them rotate, and keeping that control. Now if that's comfortable here, we can bring one leg into single tabletop, bring the leg out to the side, back up and lower. Still alternating sides, still keeping those hip bones pointing up to the ceiling. Good. And if that's comfortable here, we can come into double tabletop, keeping that tummy flat, and then bring the leg out to the side each way. So making sure there's not that excessive rotation at the pelvis. I'm trying to keep that neutral spine position and not any excessive movement there. If you're finding that you're struggling to maintain that, then just make that leg go a little bit less of a distance. So don't go quite so far out with the leg. Keeping the control. Good. Opening out through the hips. Tummy nice and flat. Good. So keeping those headlights pointing up to the ceiling as you're opening out each side. Good. Just do a few more here. Well done. Keeping that control if you can. Tummy nice and flat. Not holding your breath, just breathing out. So take the leg out to the side if you can, but just make sure you're not holding your breath. Good. Well done. Let's do one more each side. And then we're coming back to that center and lowering those legs back down from here. Very good. Okay, so we're going to go into our scissors movement now. Now, if you can, we're going to bring both legs up into double tabletop. Keeping that tummy nice and flat, that pelvis still in that neutral spine position, we're looking with this exercise to keep our knees in that 90 degree angle. And I want you just to tap the foot down, back up, and then the opposite leg, tap down, back up. Now, if that feels a little bit much, then imagine you're tapping your foot into a bucket of water. If that feels too much to go to the bottom of that bucket, then just tap halfway, okay, if that feels easier. But make sure you're not really doming at your tummy. If you are, then we need to come down and just come into single tabletop, okay? As we've done before. So opposite leg, tap down, back up. So just pick what's comfortable for you. So remember, if you need to, go halfway into that bucket so you're not straining that tummy. Make sure that tummy's staying flat. It shouldn't be doming. Keeping that control through the pelvis as you tap down and back up. Good. So breathing out. So you lower the leg down if you can. Very good. So making sure that movement's coming from the hips, 
The knee should be staying still. So sometimes to cheat a little bit, we bend our knee just to make that distance a little bit smaller. But try to keep that angle the same, that 90 degrees as you tap down and back up. Good. Keeping that control, tap down, back up. Well done. Okay, now for the last few, if we can, either step here, but if you're comfortable, we can just increase the speed so the legs move in a sort of reciprocal motion. Good. So we're tapping, 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 tapping. Still breathing in and out. Probably for about two cycles in and breathe out for about two cycles. So just keeping that control. My tummy's still staying flat as I'm alternating each leg. Well done. Good. Breathing in and out and in and out. Good. Well done. Keeping that control. Switching side to side. Last couple here. Let's do one more each side. Bring those legs back to that double tabletop and then bring those knees in and have a hug. Well done. So breathing in and out here. On that out breath, if you can, just sink down into that stretch a little bit further if you can. So breath in. As you breathe out, sink down that little bit further. Just opening out that lower back, just having a nice little stretch here. Good. Just breathing in and out. Sink down on that out breath just a little bit further if you can. Good. Breath in and out. Sinking down. Lovely. One more breath in and out. And as you breathe out, just lower those legs back down, back to that stance. So feet and knees back to that hip width distance, making sure we're still starting in that nice neutral position. So if you need to, just tilt that pelvis forwards and back again. That core is gently engaged. Arms relax down by our side, and we're going to go into a bridge movement from here. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that pelvis under, use those bottom muscles lifting up into that bridge. Take a breath in here, and as you breathe out, peeling slowly back down, back to that style. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, use those bottom muscles lifting up into that bridge. Breath in here. As you breathe out, walking that spine slowly back down, back to that style. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, use those toe muscles lifting up, Keep that pelvis nice and level as you breathe out slowly, walking that spine back down to the mat. So just making sure as you lift up, we're trying to keep that pelvis nice and level. Should be nice and a uh, straight line across those hip bones here and slowly coming back down. Good. And again, tucking that pelvis under. Use those bottom muscles lifting up into that bridge. Take a breath in here as you breathe out, peeling slowly back down. Good. Back to that start. Well done. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, use those soft muscles lifting up and peeling down. Very good. Just do a few more here, keeping that control, keeping that pelvis level as you lift up and as you lower down, just walking that spine gently back down to the mat. Good. And again, tucking under and lifting up and slowly peeling back down onto the mat. Good. And again, breath in as you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under. Using those bottom muscles, lifting up into that bridge. Breath in here. And as you breathe out, slowly coming back down onto the mat. Good. Now let's do one more here together. We're going to lift up as we come up into that bridge. From here, I just want you to drop the bottom down and then lift up. Good. And then drop down an inch and lift up an inch. So really using those bottom muscles, drop down, lift up. Good. Drop down, squeeze the bottom muscles, lift up. And again, drop down, squeeze the bottom, lift up. And again, drop down, squeeze that bottom to lift up. And again, drop down, squeeze the bottom to lift up. Good, drop down, squeeze the bottom, lift up. Drop down, squeeze the bottom, lift up. Good, last few. Really kicking those glutes in, well done. Drop down, lift up. And again, drop down, lift up. And again, drop down, lift up. And again, drop down, lift up. Very good, one more. Drop down, lift up, breath in here. As you breathe out, walk that spine slowly back down, back to that start. Very good. Bring those knees in one at a time. Just have a little hug. Good. Breathing in and out here on that out breath if you can. Just sink down a little bit further if you can onto that out breath. Well done. And then just lower those legs back down one at a time. Come back to that start position. Okay, so we're just going to do a one leg circle now. Just to get a bit more control around that hip. 
So we're gonna bring one leg up into single tabletop, either keeping that knee in that bent position, and we're gonna imagine we're drawing a circle on the ceiling with that knee, or if that's comfortable, we've done this before, we can straighten the leg and draw that circle around with our toes on the ceiling. Now that circle can be as big as you feel you can control. So we're trying to keep that pelvis nice and controlled. You should be staying in that neutral spine position. The opposite leg should be nice and steady. So anchor down, push down through that heel, just to really root through that side as well. Good, so we're just circling around through that leg. Well done. Coming around and back. Good. Okay, let's change direction, circling that opposite way, keeping that control. The movement should be coming from that hip, the leg staying still. I'm just moving that leg from my hip. Good. Controlling around, well done. Keep going here, keeping that control. Well done, breathing in and out, not holding your breath. Circling through that leg, well done. A few more here. And one more, and then coming back to that center, bend that leg back down a bit straight, and then come back to that start. Good. Okay, same again. So starting with that knee in that tabletop position. Either imagine you've got that pencil on the end of your knee, and we're circling around, drawing that circle with the knee on the ceiling. Or if you can, we're going to straighten the leg, and coming around from that circle from here. Keeping that control as you're circling around through that hip, drawing that circle on the ceiling with that leg, well done. Coming around and back. Keeping that pelvis nice and level. This opposite leg should be staying nice and still. So really push through that heel, really root through that side. Good, and that circle can be as big as you feel you can control, okay? It doesn't need to be huge. I'd rather it be smaller and you keep that control through that pelvis and people do a really big circle and you just lose all that control around here. Well done. Okay, now let's change direction. So opposite way with that circle, keeping that control as you're circling around, breathing in and out still, not holding your breath, well done. Good, last few, circling around, well done. Good. And let's just do one more here, coming around back to that center and then lower that leg back down. Well done. Okay, so let's stretch these bottom muscles out. We've worked really hard today. So we're gonna put one foot onto the opposite knee. Allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay here. Or if you can, we're gonna bring the other leg up and towards you just as far as you feel comfortable, where you feel that stretch through into that bottom muscle. We're gonna hold this here, take a few breaths in and out. On that out breath, if you can, just sink down into that stretch a little bit further if you can. Breathing in, hand out, sinking down a little bit further if you can. Breath in, hand out, sinking down. Good. And again, breath in, hand out. Good. If you want to stretch that a little bit more, we can just drop to that side you're holding slightly and increase the stretch a little bit more from there. And again, breath in, and out. And again, breath in. And out, sinking down just that little bit further if you can. Good. And then just lowering that leg back down. We'll do the same on the opposite side. So opposite knee, foot onto the other knee here. Just allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. Or if you can, we're going to bring the other leg up and towards you just as far as you feel comfortable. Breath in. As you breathe out, sink down a little bit further into that stretch if you can. If you want to increase it slightly, just drop to that side you're holding and you'll feel that stretch just increase into that bottom. So we're gonna hold this here again, breathing in and out. On that out breath, just dropping down just a little bit further if you can into that stretch. And again, breath in and out, just sink down just a little bit further if you can. Good, and again, breath in and out, sinking down that a little bit further if you're able. Good, and again, breath in. And out, sink down just a little bit further. Good. And one more breath in and out. And then just lowering that leg back down. 
Okay, so we're going to stretch out through our spines now. So arms down by your side or out to the side of you. We're going to drop the knees over to one side. Turn your head to the opposite side if you can. And then use those toe muscles to bring the knees back to that center. And then over to that opposite side. So again, using the toe muscles, coming back up to the center. Dropping over, opening out through that back. Really enjoying this stretch. Just opening out through that spine. Drop the knees over. Using those toe muscles, coming back up to that center. Good, and again, drop the knees over, turning that head, using the toe muscles, coming back up to that center. Good. And again, lifting up, drop down, rotating through, and then coming back to that center. So I'm just do a few more here, and back up. Good. And then coming back to that center. Well done. Lovely. Just the last couple here, dropping those knees over. Use those toe muscles, bring the knees back to that center. And over to the opposite side, just rotating through that spine. Well done, let's just do one more each side, dropping the knees over, using the tummy, coming back to that center. And dropping over to that opposite side. And then back to the centre. Good. Arms relaxed down by your side. Okay, we're going to do one more stretch of our legs now. We're going to bring our knees up to the ceiling. We're going to stretch through the back of the leg and just feel that stretch all the way through the back of the leg here. And we're going to hold this stretch. So you can just support the leg with your hand if you want to. Just bring that leg up and towards you, breathing in and out. Just sinking down a little bit further if you can. Breath in and out. Relaxing down into that stretch if you can. Good. And then we can just add a little bit of ankle movement and point and flex through the foot here. Just nice and gently pointing and flexing. Just moving the ankle a little bit here. Good. And then pointing those toes up to the ceiling again, feeling that lengthening through the back of the leg. Just holding that there, well done. And then bending that knee and coming back down. Okay, we do the same on the other side, so knee up to the ceiling and lengthen through the back of the leg, holding that stretch here. Just supporting that leg if you want to with your hands, just lengthening through the back of the leg. Breathing in and out. As we breathe out, just relaxing down into that stretch if you can. Good. Done. And then just to change that slightly, we can point and flex through that ankle, just moving slightly from here. All done. And then just pointing those toes up to the ceiling again, lengthening through the back of the leg, holding that stretch. Breath in and out. Good. And then bend the knee and come back down. Very good. So we're going to come round back up into sitting. Just to cool off with a few stretches here. So just sitting back, now make sure the weight, um, weight's going nice and evenly through those sitting bones. Just sitting up nice and tall, that neck's nice and long. Okay, so let's just finish like we started with a few spine twist movements. So we're going to float our hands up to shoulder height, take a breath in. As you breathe out, reaching away, breath in. And as you breathe out, coming back to that centre, good, breath in. As you breathe out, opening around, breath in. And as you breathe out, back to that centre, good, breath in. Rotating around, breath in here. And as you breathe out, back to that center, good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, rotating that body, breath in here. And as you breathe out, coming back to that center, relax those arms down, good. Now I want you to float your hands up to the ceiling. And I want you just to reach up with one hand, stretching that side, and then we're gonna reach up with the opposite arm. Good, and again, stretch up that opposite arm, and then with the other side alternating just stretching through that side just imagine you're kind of climbing up through a ladder or a rope as you're reaching up good opposite side and one more each side reaching up and the opposite side reaching up coming back to that center and then float those arms back down just relaxing from here very good I hope you've enjoyed the class today. Thanks for joining us. And remember, if you've got any comments or feedback, you can use our comment section below the video. Otherwise, I hope you see you next time.